All right, Dom. What's next? The Fast and Furious franchise has just debuted its ninth, yes, ninth, installment in theaters. The settings and circumstances of notable scenes, car stunts, and heist getaways are among the many things that keep viewers coming back for more. It's a long time, Dom. Each movie becomes more elaborate and less realistic. Let's start with the first movie. The Fast and the Furious established the iconic car racing fans would come to love. It's where we first meet Dominic Toretto, an infamous street racer played by Vin Diesel. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. The stakes are raised in Too Fast, Too Furious as they try to land the iconic Camaro on a yacht. And by the third installment, Tokyo Drift, the series begins to show off even more carefully executed techniques and stunts. But why drive only at street level? Fast and Furious, AKA movie number four, takes its intense chase scenes underground to the US-Mexico border. Fast Five, the franchise's fifth installment, elevates the art of a robbery. Instead of stealing money or diamonds, our heist crew drives away with the entire vault itself, dragging it through city streets. But the Furious crew doesn't just race, trap, and endanger other cars. In Furious 7, they're up against a helicopter. We are transported to water in Fate of the Furious, AKA Furious 8. Towards the movie's end, spoilers ahead, Dom narrowly evades an attack from a rocket launching submarine and consequential explosion, causing the sub to hit itself instead. And then of course are the stomach dropping jumps, the leaps of faith. Will they make it? Alive? Oh. 